Hey everybody. So uh, this is definitely a jump in progress from the last video and let me explain that really quickly. I'm doing some experiments with high def for an upcoming video series and uh, that last video was the test. <clears throat> I just let the camera roll and uh, I worked for about two hours. You've seen the first three minutes in the previous video. The camera shut down after one hour because the memory card filled up. So I definitely see some limitations with that overall. And uh, I got to sit through all that video and cut what I can to bring the file size down as low as possible. The uh, render that you saw in the last video took about three hours to do three minutes. So I really got to uh, come up with something for that. So what you missed and what the camera didn't catch at all was me rewiring the pod, adding a bit of length to the wire, wiring up the platform here, putting that switch in the bottom, making sure everything's functional. Uh, I did a lot of cutting on the back side, and all that is basically gone to history at this point. The switch works. I didn't wire the pod up yet because I still got to put decals on that. But, uh... I guess what I'll do is let me prep this a little for a minute and uh, I'll start up the video in a second. Okay, so as can be seen here, I drilled that, let me flip this around to this side. So I drilled that hole straight through uh, the body there and I wired up these back connectors into the main bus so I can still power it through the back side here or through the bottom. So it's good to have options certainly. There's a little excess length in here that I can pull out for uh, when rotating the pod on the base. That excess slack will uh, avoid any pinching going on if the wires were too tight. Over here on the base, I've got those two wires coming up. And uh, basically that was just, if I can get some light going on here maybe, so just two separate holes. Each wire comes through the bottom and then it cuts over to the brass tube which then comes out through the back here. So I routed all those channels out through here. I think it's the, uh, in this case it's the negative, I think, that's going to the switch down here. So basically it's model to negative wire, negative wire to switch negative wire to power supply. The positive wire goes straight through all the way to the wall source so you're only interrupting one side of the current flow. I had a little crosstalk on that switch there and the light was always on but as long as those wires are isolated from each other so they can't make the connection the switch will work. So uh, yeah I really uh, it's too bad I lost all that work going on this was the first hour of work was just basically me starting to cut out the switch and things leading up to that. And uh, the second hour was all the rest of the real work. So, but still coming up, what I've got to do here is I went off to the uh, craft store, picked up a pack of the googly eyes. So I just need three of those for here and then that's finished essentially. I got to touch up the silver paint in there. But that's nothing that uh, if you've seen the other videos you don't know about already, it's easy enough to do. And then the googly eyes, the backs get cut off of there, and just the clear lenses go on front. Once that's done, all I really need to do is add the decals to the body, and that will be that. Before I add the decals though, I'm going to clean down the surface as best I can and give the entire thing a clear gloss coat. That's going to help the decals go down a lot easier. And then once those are down, I'll give the whole thing a clear matte coat that will unify the decals with the body so they look more like they're painted on rather than just sitting there as decals. So uh, I'll definitely have that finished up. Hopefully tomorrow will be a sunny afternoon. So uh, I won't get a really bad finish on the gloss because temperatures can definitely affect the way that goes down. And at this stage, the last thing I want to do is screw up the surface. And that's still a distinct possibility, unfortunately. So uh, let me wire this up and I'll show you how the switch works.
Okay, so all I've done here is just do a really quick loose connection and uh, basically all this wire can get tucked up inside the body so it will be hidden but obviously for now for testing purposes and the fact that I still got work to do on the pod I'm going to leave it sitting loose like that and then the uh, plastic platform here that's going to go on top of the pod is clearly missing and that'll go on as well and the earmuffs of course so we'll go in here and switch the light on and that is that definitely looks damn good changing the white balance on this right now the lights have a little bit of a blue tone but shooting this in daylight let me switch over the white balance obviously everything's gone a lot yellower as well as the lights so those are pretty much balanced to whatever the room light is and they definitely look really fantastic the uh, dome on there is going to look really good and uh, I'm really psyched about how this has turned out. A little different exposure and those headlights really light up a lot better and fill in the areas. In fact, let's even kill this light. Nice. That's definitely a good thing. The switch is all functional, everything's happy. I do have to put Hal's eye in the middle there, that's going to be an easy thing. I'm just going to throw a red LED for simplicity's sake. There's a clear overlay that goes in there as well, so I'm going to throw that on just to make it a little bit better. So uh, those headlights definitely rock, and let me switch the light balance back. So even with the standard white balance the way it is here, obviously these lights are not blue. They're pretty much pure white. There may be a hint of blue in the uh, lens flares there. But overall, this definitely rocks. These are warm white LEDs and uh, pretty much never go back to standard white LEDs again except when circumstances warrant a really blue tinged light. I don't know why I'm losing focus here. There we go. So uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for the moment. Decals are coming up probably tomorrow, and uh, that's that. So thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody's comments as always. See ya.